Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And today, Mom and I are in Sydney, Australia, going to the Sydney Wildlife Zoo down at the harbor. We did purchase the extra koala um, excursion photo. We're just gonna be close to a koala. I don't know, that's the goal. But come in here, I don't know what to expect. Let's go find out. They have lots of pictures, that's for sure. Are you excited, Mom? Yes. Mom's already seen koalas the last time she came. Did you get to hold one at the place you went? No. I, I think a lot of Australia has put restrictions on touching the koalas, holding them, probably for their own safety. But... You can still look at them. I guess let's find out what's in here. It's kind of crazy that it's like inside. Oh, a photo op. Oh, it is a lot of ramping to get in here. I'll meet y'all at the end of the ramps. Mom, you're gonna crawl in the cave? Little kid said there's no nothing in the cave, so mom's not gonna climb in. Oh, and there's one up there, too. There's two. Should I come down or should I go up? Oh. 
Oh no, it's eating you. is 20 years old and she likes to hide under the logs. That's the water dragon. And there's something under here too. And that's the platypus. She's little. She's going around. She, she's like behind it. There's her bill. I bet she has to go up and get air. Yeah, she probably does. And then she comes yeah, down. Here she comes. Here she comes.
We finally made it to the koalas. There is the option, although we are up in their like little koala uh, cafe. There's tables, you can sit and eat. There's a place to buy food, rooftop cafe. You can take photos with the koala. It's an extra charge and you can go in and see them. You can't hold them anymore, but you can see them up close. We bought that those tickets in advance. So mom's just cashing them in. You have to take the tickets you purchased over to the cafe and they will give you wristbands. So then you wait for your number to be called. And then you see koalas. Like proper tourists. And what did you say his name was again? Um, it's Pira. So it's P I W R A. Mm -hmm. um, so it is an indigenous name, I believe. Does it mean so, anything? I'm sure that it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Oh, oh so yeah. Her fur blew out. They blow out their fur. Like yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So she's looking at the Look at you. Um, but I just think she's beautiful and she's just, she's quite a cool though. Um, oh, their personalities come yeah, through. Yeah, they have like, you know, obviously they're, they're spending 20 hours a day sleeping. So their personality doesn't. All right, so we're done with the pictures. It was very interesting talking with the gal who is in charge of the koala enclosure. She's telling us all about the koalas. And she said that the male we took pictures with is on loan right now from the larger zoo across the harbor to breed with their four females. And that this gal right here has a little four month old koala. They don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. So far they said all of his four children that he's had with these ladies have all been boys, which means they have to go on to other zoos to help keep breeding. Um, they're trying to keep girls so that they can keep upping the koala population. But I guess at four months old, they can't tell if it's a girl or a boy yet. I'm not sure when that becomes apparent. I'm not a koala breeder. It was a lot of fun though. So we're gonna keep going with our koala uh, pass for the photos we get to pick two pictures to print out and put in a little booklet so we're going to go look at them look at the scales how they come up on his back or her back who knows You have to crawl to get in here, but it is pretty cool. It's too bad they're not swimming through here. All right, 
right, we are all done. So we can look at our pictures here. So it was a green screen picture. So how many do we get from this? And now... So funny. All right, nothing left but the gift shop. So we love a gift shop. We love a good gift shop. I liked it. Mom went. Where did you go to see the koalas last year? I went to the Lone Pine Sanctuary in Brisbane. In Brisbane. And it was she said huge. it was huge and way more animals than today. But for being in the city, for not having to go an hour, this was because they were saying, how do you pronounce it? The Tanzanian Zoo, the one here in Sydney. They said it's about an hour outside the city on a bus, yeah. and then of course you're in the heat all day. So for being in the city, and for having the other thing they were saying is they really like that this exhibit slash zoo only has all of the Australian animals as opposed to if you go to a big zoo they have the African and the Asian and well, no, just the thing we went to all animals. I know the one you went to was just Australia. Just Australia. But that was in Brisbane. This is insane. Yes, I agree. So for looking for Australian animals, I think it was a good day. Um, perfect. If you want to spend more time on a bus Going to the larger zoo or sanctuary and will show you more. The, the one other really good thing about Long Pine is you could hold it for a while. Yes, whereas here, you don't have here all of the places in Sydney that I've heard of, you cannot hold balls. It's different, different, different restrictions. Yeah. So, either way, we had fun and we are going to go find the opera house. Bye, y'all.